Wow, there she blows. This is an extraordinary item invented by a friend of mine, David Burner, who I've known for 20 years, and out of the many instruments he showed me, mostly the opticals, this is the most bizarre, it's the one I understand the least. So what's the story about it, David? Uh, not invented, just reinvented. Ah. I like animation devices from the Victorian era. Yes. You know, I make zoetropes, perhaps in the scopes. And I thought, I saw an illustration of this. I think it might have been a patent illustration from the 1800s. And I couldn't see any way it could give animation because there's no shutter. So I thought, well, let's prove it can't work. So I built this to um, prove it couldn't work, and regrettably it did. Ooh. Did it work from the word go when you first made it? Yes, it was just a matter of calculations for the this drum that rounds, moves around the outside. Yep. The inner drum is totally static. That's static, yeah. Understand. It's just a belt of images um, that float around the outside. So I'm holding a, a number here and it's completely stationary until the thing comes fast, then it flips forward. That's the thing I find bizarre because the film, all the film moves as it moves through a camera or through a, this one. As you say, no shutter either. Yeah, and how slow you go, it's sort of, you think, hold on, it can't do what, it's do what I'm seeing it do. It's yeah, very strange. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wonderful. So all I have to do now is just find a flick book with, what, 12 stations, 12 pictures, we're going to get some marvellous effects in it. Yeah, we'll paste them on and have a go. Wow, I'd love it. Thank you very much for showing me. You're welcome.